Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Nathan's hot dogs under massive attack from unhinged leftists after Trump connection revealed. Since the left can't win in the arena of ideas, they once again have to resort to threats and bullying tactics. This time Nathan's Hot Dogs has landed in hot water after news broke that executive chairman Howard Lorber would host a fundraiser event for President Donald Trump in the Hamptons. So because the left just can't win on ideas hundreds of people have since a pledged not to buy Nathan's Hot Dogs after finding out that the president would appear at Lorber's Southampton home Friday for a fundraising event for his 2020 campaign. Keep America great! Later this week 100% Fed Up reported that a Nathan's Hot Dogs spokesperson responded to news of the proposed boycott in an official statement that explained that the company does not officially support any political agenda. We acknowledge and respect that people's political views differ, the spokesperson said in a response statement. Our focus is solely on serving the best products to our customers across the country. Lorber is a personal longtime friend to President Trump and served as an economic advisor during his 2016 campaign. Later he was appointed chairman of the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum's Board of Trustees. But not all the fallout was negative for our own army of deplorables came out. Yes, the left thinks this will actually work. They think that they can boycott when everyone knows their boycotts last two weeks tops and then they become outraged about something else and move along. Here is more on what happens when the right boycotts a company via Breitbart. More than one million people have signed the boycott pledge against Target, following the secretive decision by executives to open all of their stores' bathrooms and changing rooms to people of both sexes. Late Thursday night, roughly 75 people a minute were adding their name to the petition as it clicked over one million, just after 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a million families who are going to spread the word about Target, so they may not get those customers back, or their money, said Tim Wildman, president of the American Family Association which has hosted the boycott. Target's management is just going to have step up here, and, say we're selling hammers and hats, we're not into social engineering," he said. One day after Target revealed its decision to favor its few transgender customers and staff over the rest of the population. A study of the 2010 census data suggests that only about 1 in 2,400 adults change their names to match names used by the other sex. Wildman's association wants to affirm people's privacy in bathrooms and changing rooms but also to block the progressives' multi-front push to stigmatize and outlaw any recognition of the average differences between women and men, and between boys and girls. The LGBT agenda is being rammed down people's throats, and people are losing their jobs because of it, and it is becoming so that you can't think differently from these people or you're, called, a hater or a bigot," he said. Since the decision was announced, numerous comments, articles, and videos protesting the store's one-sided decision have gone viral. Public opinion has moved and hardened in opposition to the previously bizarre notion of dual-sex bathrooms and changing rooms, and Target's brand as a family-friendly store has taken a hit, as the online conversation shifted from its claim of cheap chic to worries of privacy, sexual predators, and the anger at the company's disregard for the reasoned judgment of its middle-class customers. This is how people can fight back, they're not going to shop at Target, said Wildman. Target, however, is not responding to customers' opposition. We certainly respect that there are a wide variety of perspectives and opinions. As a company that firmly stands behind what it means to offer our team an inclusive place to work, and our guests an inclusive place to shop, we continue to believe that this is the right thing for Target," company spokeswoman Molly Snyder said April 25. Amid the turmoil, the company's stock edged down from $83.98 per share on April 19 to roughly $81.33 in April 28. That's a loss of $2.65 per share, which chops the company's stock market value by $1.5 billion, down to $48.8 billion. The company's Twitter, however, has been very inactive. The most recent tweet was sent out April 19, even though the company has been sending out a tweet every two or three days in the first half of April. It's really a shame that us deplorables didn't boycott more businesses who supported Barack Hussein Obama. Maybe if we would have the left would have figured out it's better to beat us in the arena of ideas than to try to go after a brand which has been around over a century and who employs thousands of people worldwide. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.